strings of beads or bracelets of beads or knotted ropes have been used for prayer by religions around the world for absolutely centuries. It is an ancient part of Christianity as well. So ancient, in fact, that the very word bead in English literally means a prayer. The ancient and continued use of prayer beads by Christians shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone. The word bead comes from an old English word that literally meant a prayer. Prayer was so associated with beads that the beads took on the name of what they were being used for. And we have found prayer beads in Christian tombs around the Christian world. Generally speaking, beads are not mystical or miraculous items in and of themselves. They are practical tools to assist us in our prayer life, to keep our wandering minds focused as we move from one bead to the next, from one prayer to the next. People who are not used to praying with prayer beads will still have probably heard of the rosary. This came about in the Western Catholic world in the 13th century and is not practiced by Orthodox Christians. But even when the rosary was developed, prayer beads were not a new idea. They had been part of Christianity for centuries and centuries before that. While we use different forms of prayer ropes and prayer beads around the Orthodox world, most of us are familiar with the prayer rope. This is made generally of wool. We use it to say the Jesus prayer. As we move along the beads and feel each bead, we say the prayer of Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. This is a very short and very simple prayer that encompasses a whole lot of other prayers within it. It's very familiar to the Orthodox Christian and is a lot more powerful than you'd think possible for so few words. It is a prayer that is part of a larger life of Christian living, of attending church services, of receiving the sacraments. If you're interested in taking up this prayer and taking up a prayer rope, then talk to an Orthodox priest about it to see where you're at so you can know what the next step is. This is a beautiful prayer to learn about. And so please ask an Orthodox priest about it. The Jesus prayer with beads goes back to around the third or fourth century. That is when we know it existed, but it probably goes back even further than that. And it goes back to the deserts of North Africa and the first Christian monks known as the Desert Fathers. And these fathers used either knotted ropes or beads or pebbles to help them physically focus on the prayers that they were doing. One of the most popular stories is that it was revealed in a vision to St. Anthony the Great, one of the fathers of early Christian monasticism. Another story, and one that I grew up with, is that it was revealed to St. Pachomius, another early Christian monk. The prayer rope, though, isn't just a collection of simple knots or beads. Every single knot on a prayer rope is almost its own miniature sermon, with the rope as a whole teaching us not just of the Christian prayer life, but of Christ himself. This method has been passed down from around the 3rd or 4th century till today. A prayer rope is made from woolen yarn normally, but it can be made from other forms of string, and every single bead is made up of seven interlocking crosses. These seven crosses, once they are all put together in the right way, form a knot on which, on the outside, you can see three small crosses representing the Holy Trinity. These knots are stable and hard to undo. The rope in and of itself is a lesson, is a sermon, to help us pray more. If you would like to find a Christian prayer rope and to begin praying the Jesus Prayer, visit an Orthodox church and chat with the people there about where they get their prayer ropes. Hopefully, they will be able to direct you to either a monastery or to a person that makes these, that you're buying them not just from some factory, but from a fellow Christian making these as part of a ministry to his brothers and sisters in the church. There are many different lengths of prayer rope. Some of the most common have about 100 beads on them. The other most common one that we tend to wear around the wrist has 33 beads. That is one bead for every year in Christ's earthly ministry. So even in the design of the prayer rope, it speaks to us of Jesus Christ. The Jesus prayer, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me a sinner, is simple, it is short, and it is deeply personal. Thank you very much for watching. If you are new to the idea of prayer beads and prayer ropes and the Jesus prayer, then please look into it more. Chat with an Orthodox priest about it. He'll be able to direct you in the right way to go. And you might even be able to find someone who can show you how they're made. It is quite beautiful to watch the knot coming together. If you're interested in the kind of tea we are drinking, it is Earl Grey with a spot of honey.